What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm react to President Trump speaks about coronavirus from the White House. Maybe I'm immune. So let's get right into this video, man. Three, two, one, bow. I just left Walter Reed Medical Center, and it's really something very special. The doctors, the nurses, the first responders. If you don't think Trump had corona before he announced he had corona or before his team forced him to announce that he had corona, tweeted that he, if he bruh, <laughs> if you think that this dude did not have corona before, because you see he wasn't wearing a mask, and then he popped out with a mask. You know how many people he exposed himself to and didn't give a fuck? Yeah, that's your president. That's the president that y'all support. That's the president dick that y'all love and suck. Certainly. And I learned so much about coronavirus. And one thing that's for certain, don't let it dominate you. Don't be afraid of it. You're gonna beat it. We have the best medical equipment. We have the best medicines, all developed recently. And you're going to beat it. I went. I didn't feel so good. And two days ago, I could have left two days ago. And this nigga just said, from what I learned, I've learned a lot about the coronavirus. Bitch, you should already know about it. You the damn president. You should have knew the co what the everything about it. You should have knew the whole history, background, all that about it. When it first hit the fan, because Corona been out, that's why it's called COVID-19, because it's been around since 2019. It didn't just pop up in 2020. It been around, if you did not know. So what is he, bro, you the president, you supposed to know about this stuff. What is you learning about something you should already know about? I'm confused. Two days ago, I felt great, like better why than I have in a long time. Who, who I said just recently, this, better than 20 years ago. Don't let it dominate. Don't let it take over your lives. Don't let that happen. We're the greatest country in the world. We're going back. We're going back to work. We're going to be out front. As your leader, I had to do that. I knew there's danger to it, but I had to do it. I stood out front. I led. Nobody that's a leader would not do what I did. And I know there's a risk, there's a danger, but that's okay. And now I'm better, and maybe I'm immune. I don't know. But don't let it dominate your lives. Get out there. Be careful. We have the best medicines in the world, and it all happened very shortly, and they're all getting approved, and the vaccines are coming moment. And y'all see they cut Dr. Oz off because he said flu shots will risk you to get COVID-19, higher risk to get COVID-19, and they cut him off of that. You feel what I mean? Like, people out here really trying to tell y'all the truth of what's going on. What the fuck are you taking a flu shot for anyway? A flu shot doesn't do anything for you. You should have been through that way before Corona even popped into the picture. I'm talking about way back, 90s, 80s, 70s the early 2000s, the mid 2000s, till now. You should already, you, you already shouldn't, you should've known that. The flu shot is not good for you. It's not designed to cure you in any way, shape or form. That's why it's free, the fuck? But um, hopefully, hopefully, you know, these vaccines ain't meant to kill motherfuckers because you never know what the government, you never know what they plan, you never know what they doing. You just don't know. You don't know what to trust or who to trust. You know what I'm saying? But if y'all enjoyed this video, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. And I truly appreciate it. Catch me in my next video. Peace out.